Hourglass is that girl, right? She's just so luxe and gorgeous and bougie. And up, you know, that's Hourglass. Hourglass just, just feels real bougie to me. Okay, make What is up, you guys? CC back with another video. And for today's video, we're going to do a whole little Sephora haul. We got a little bit of Ulta stuff, some PR. We're going to do a whole little makeup chat in today's video. It's going to be a long one. Get yourself a snack and let's get it. Alright y'all, so I could have probably split this video up into like three different videos, but I was like, why? Why are we going to do that? Okay, we just want to put it all together in this video. So I have my second Sephora haul for the VIB Spring Savings event. Now, um, I do have still some online orders coming. I probably have enough online orders to do another haul. So you guys will have to let me know if you want to see another full haul or you want me to just throw it in a vlog because I could just throw it in an upcoming vlog and that be that. But that's not going to be here for another like week and a half. Y'all know they get slow on the shipping if you wait to order. So those are my last few items, but it's a lot of it. Like I went very, I don't know, I went really crazy this sale. There was a lot of new items that came out um, this spring that were just really catching my eye. So I pretty much got all of them since they were on sale. So we have a lot of makeup reviews coming. I'll be doing them in the form of shorts. I'll be doing them in the form of long form videos in between vlogs. So just check it out. We're actually going to have a review in this video as well on something that I hauled in my last video that I am wearing today. So let's actually just start there and I kind of want to start with like I said what's on my face this is the simplest face I think I've ever come on camera with besides coming on camera with no makeup and I just have on this Anastasia balm tint so that is what it looks like I hauled it in the last video and then the Ole Henriksen uh, Ula Henriksen, I think it is, Banana Bright Vitamin C CC Stick. So both of these are the only two things on my face. No powder, besides my brows and lips. Um, no powder, no bronzer, no nothing. Just these two things on my face. And this makeup has been on for about seven hours and this is what it looks like and no touch-ups okay y'all know your girl is super oily so I always get a little skeptical about these products but I don't even set this right this looks like a little deodorant stick and don't let the color fool you either because this looks super dark on me but it blends into my skin so perfectly and I have been using this all week literally just this now it doesn't cover much it gives you very light coverage but it kind of evens everything out and then this is what you're left with I put this banana bright under the eyes just to give myself a little bit of brightening effect and boom bang bam we're done like that is what I have on my face and it's a five minute face easily and I am loving these two products so while they're on sale pick them up I will link them down below okay okay so I also have this product here and this is from Urban Decay so let me tell you I bought I bought this product and then opened my mail a few days ago and here it is in the mail from Urban Decay. I was gagging. Urban Decay sent over their brand new um, foundation and I am so excited. First of all, I can't, I don't even, I don't even know when I got on Urban Decay's PR list, but I get PR because you guys watch, like, comment, subscribe, and just, you know, are all around amazing people for supporting some crazy girl on the internet who makes videos in her house. And it just, I, I mean, I can't thank you guys enough for your support throughout the years, but I was so excited about this. So I had already purchased this. I had it already ready to be in this haul. And then I got this the other day and I took that thing back to Sephora. Okay. Uh, because I don't need two of them, but I, uh, I'm so excited. So Urban Decay was gracious enough to send over their brand new face bond foundation. This is the waterproof 24 hour wear foundation. They sent over the long lasting makeup spray, the all nighter a makeup sponge and then also some hair clips to keep your hair out your face while you're doing your makeup 
So they sent over the whole face and that is just much appreciated. Let me tell you, I also was going back and forth about getting the all nighter setting spray again. And I was going back and forth about putting it in my cart. And then I get the full size, like what is going on? But this is the star of the show and that is the Face Bond. This is the self setting foundation, supposed to be water, sweat and humidity proof, smudge and transfer resistant, no powder needed. It has 3% niacinamide and it says it's a lightweight, medium buildable coverage and non-comedogenic. I am so excited to try this y'all. I have it in the shade 25 medium deep cool olive and I think this is going to match me perfectly, but I have been salivating over trying this new foundation from Urban Decay and I'm so excited about it. So I wanted to make sure I, I threw that in this video, um, that package in this video so you guys can see it and you guys can um, definitely pick it up while it's 20% off at Sephora or 15 or 10 depending on your tier, but yes yes honey yes honey i'm so excited about that and thank you so much to urban decay for sending over this beautiful 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 package actually the products i have today maybe you can't find at ulta but i was going to say many of the products you can find that you can find at sephora you can find at ulta and now because ulta is just expanding their brands a lot but i did purchase this one thing from ulta and it is the anastasia brow wiz this is the new I don't even know what you call it. This is the, this is new, right? Or is it just a mini? Girl, I think this is the regular brow is and it's just a mini. I, I really didn't need that. I thought it was new because it was under the new category. So I thought it might've been like a micro brow pencil, but I'm pretty sure this is just the regular brow is and it's just a little mini one. I, I absolutely didn't need that. But I picked that up from Ulta, but I thought I would throw it in here in case you guys need it. Um, and that way you can go ahead and pick it up um, during this time. All right, let's get into the stuff you actually care about. And that is the stuff that I got from Sephora. I have it all like categorized in different ways. So I have lips, I have non-makeup items, I have fragrance, I have powders cheeks, all that. So let's start with the non makeup items. I saw these and wanted to get these so bad. These are the forever eye masks. The dough, is that how you say it? D I E U X is the brand. And these are reusable eye masks now. So it says the last eye mask you'll ever need. It comes in this little, this container right here. And here are the eye masks and these are completely reusable. They're supposed to be reusable forever. I think it says apply an eye cream to the under eye area, apply eye masks and leave on top for 20 minutes. When done, remove the eye masks and gently wash with mild soap and warm water, dry them and put back in the tin, store in a cool, dark place. So these are, like I said, forever eye masks. So you never have to buy another eye mask. Theoretically, if these continue to work and stick. So I'm really excited about seeing how those work. You guys know I have the topicals um, eye masks before. So I, like I'd just be interested to see how well these keep their form and their shape and because they were $25 before the discount. So if, if they're $25 and they last me for a year, even if I paid full price, that's totally worth it. Right? So let's see how long those last. I also picked up a new brush. Of course I picked up a new brush because the Sephora collection brushes are bomb and all Sephora collection is 30% off. So this is the number 71 concealer brush. This is not a new brush to me. I have this brush. I love this brush. She's that girl for concealer. Sephora actually has a lot of really good concealer and foundation brushes. I don't know that I would spend the money to get um, like I like the Sephora eye brushes. I feel like I have cheaper ones that do the same thing. But for concealer and foundation, I have found the Sephora brushes to be 
superior look how soft this is the number 71 like i said concealer brush and it just helps you get all up in that thing and get that concealer blended and just looking flawless so we know her we love her and we just gotta re-up of course we picked up another fenty skin this is the butter drop um what do you call it butter drop warm cinnamon shimmering whipped oil body cream this is one of the best body creams i've used so laura mercier the laura mercier body cream the one that's like 75 dollars that has definitely been a favorite of mine for a very long time but this one is is slow i was gonna say slowly taking the cake but not even slowly it's pretty rapidly getting up there and taking the cake not only is it cheaper than laura mercier but it is definitely more hydrating so in the winter time like all your hard parts that really need that hydration this is intense hydration and they are coming out with more and more scents as well which is great mm, this one's warm cinnamon and it smells just like warm cinnamon like this is one that i'll probably pull out in september october in the fall time and I, I mean baby this is this is so good so i love these so much i actually also got the minis like that's coming um in the mail but they had the minis and all of these were on sale this was on sale for like 36 dollars, and then you got the extra 20 percent off on top of that so you really can't beat that and they're still in stock as of today so i mean i'm just saying i'll check it out Okay, let's move on to fragrance. Y'all know, y'all already know what I would have gotten from fragrance. Now, I am not smelling these on camera because I'm going to do a little short. I don't know if it's gonna be a TikTok or a reel or a short or might be all three, I don't know, but I'm gonna smell these on camera and do an actual like first impressions because I've heard such good things. But you know I had to get the Forever Mood perfumes. You know I had to get it, right? Like I, oh my God. And I'm so happy I got it when I got it because those things been sold out ever since. All the full sizes are sold out. All the travel sizes are sold out. All the discovery sets are sold out. And so I'm so happy I picked it up. This, first of all, this packaging is like super luxe. Oh, I want to smell these so bad. Um, but this packaging is like super luxe. So if we don't know about Forever Mood, I don't know where you've been, but that is Jackie Ina. Um, her candle formerly candle line well still candle line but now also fragrance line so she came out with four fragrances and they are called i am her hard to get you remind me an nda so make sure you're looking out for those videos y'all because i'm going to be pumping out some review videos on a lot of these products and this is going to be the first one you guys i also got a travel size of i am her these are blind perfume buys baby okay i have no idea what these smell like how they're gonna make me feel what the scents are i've heard mixed reviews so i'm really excited to put my nose to it and smell it you guys will have to tell me what you think about them if you got your hands on them down below okay in perfumes i also picked up the sephora favorites perfume sampler there was one that i really wanted i think they still have it online so i might jump on to just get that today but this i found i saw this one in the store so i got it the one i wanted had like boy smells i have been wanting to try boy smells i don't know who that's by but i'll like put it right here but i've been wanting to try boy smells for a minute and it's on my loves list and i was thinking about getting it and then i saw that they had it in the little discovery kit and so I think I'm gonna jump online and grab that today. But I ended up getting this mini one and these discovery kits are so good. And especially at sale time because they're already a good deal and then you get money off on top of it so this is the perfume sampler it was thirty dollars and you get one two three four five six seven eight eight little mini perfumes in here and then you can redeem it for a full size travel size perfume in this one the other one that i want is 85 dollars. you get the discount and then you can redeem it it comes with like i think it comes with like six or seven um travel size but the good travel size with the good bottles and you also get a makeup bag and then you can redeem that for a full size bottle of the one of those perfumes in there. So these are such good deals. They make really great gifts, um, like for Mother's Day or something, you know, Mother's Day's coming up. So for Mother's Day or something like that, these make amazing gifts. So this comes with Commodity Book, um, Mason Mar Lewis Marie, 
number four i don't know how to say that and i'm about to embarrass myself replica a replica perfume from the garden juliet has a gun which i might give that to my mom because she loves that one uh boy smells wood foria oh this is the other boy smells i didn't even know this was in here uh clean reserve warm cotton ysl myself and a gloss the glossier you perfume so you get the small ones you get your travel size and that's a great deal all right let's move on to the makeup because that's what y'all came here for i picked up a rare beauty all of the above weightless eyeshadow stick and i heard great things about this but the reason of course we're dropping it all right, so the reason I wanted this was for my inner corner. This one's in the shade Integrity. And so I wanted this because I thought this would be such a beautiful shade to pop on. So let me see, I don't have a mirror over here. Where's my phone? All right, let's try this. I thought this would be a beautiful shade to pop on my inner corner. And whether you have on makeup or not, you just look alive, right? It just pops and makes you look more alive when you have an inner corner shade on. I feel like I've been doing my makeup the same way for like eight years. Like, I don't even know if that's a thing anymore, but I love doing it still because I just think it looks so good. It makes me look so alive when I have that inner corner shade in and yeah. I just really like still doing it. So I got this strictly for that. I probably won't use it for a shadow stick. Maybe I will, I don't know. But that's the reason I ended up getting this. I keep dropping it. All right, I also picked up another um, one size. This is the On Till Dawn Mattifying Waterproof Setting Spray. Your girl's makeup is not going anywhere this summer. And y'all know this is one of my absolute favorite setting sprays. I never get full size items if I can help it. So I got another small one. This is probably like my fourth one, but I have so many setting sprays and I'm gonna be trying to use those up throughout the summer. But I did just wanna, I like wanna always have this one on hand because this is just so good. Your makeup's not gonna budge. You're not gonna have a problem with it. And so I always like to keep that in my arsenal and the one I have is almost gone. All right, let's talk about face products. This product I have seen everywhere and I've been wanting to try it so bad. This is the Super Goop Protect Tint Daily SPF Tint. It has an SPF of 50. I got mine in the shade 34C. I tried to match it in the store, so I'm hoping it is the right shade, but um, this is what it looks like. And basically it is a foundation with a 50 an SPF of 50 in it. So uh, let me see. This is an effortless blendable skin tint with powerful sun protection, a barely there feel and light coverage for visibly even smooth complexion with a natural finish. So I see myself wearing something like this, like for a pool day or um, maybe if I'm like out at, yeah, like a water park or something like this, and you can literally put this on with your fingers and go, and it'll give your face protection, but it'll also give you a little coverage. So I have been enjoying products like that lately. <sighs> I might have needed a darker shade though. I mean, this shade works now, but I fear that it may not come. This is so unhinged. Like I'm just putting makeup on top of makeup. I mean, it blends in. I don't even see it. I don't see it at all. So it's blending in. Um, so it's definitely the right shade for me now, but what will it look like in two months when I've been in the sun? I don't know. So I'm going to test this out. We're going to Mexico in a couple months, um, like early June. So I'm going to test this out and see if this works. And if this is like pretty enough where I feel like this gives me enough coverage for even like the days that I want to look a little glam when I'm there, this might be the only foundation I bring. Like maybe we'll see. I'm an overpacker, so we'll see. But I'm excited about that. 
All right, let's move into, let's move into face powders. So I did get two new face powders this time around and I'm just, I'm over the moon excited about both of them. First one is the HD Skin Setting Powder by Makeup Forever. I am just in love with all of the HD Skin products from Makeup Forever. I said I didn't want another loose setting powder and this is huge, like, it's like the size of my head. Like this is pretty big and I just hate storing stuff like this, but I don't know. Their powders are mwah, chef's kiss. This is the color 3.1 tan golden. So I thought this would match me well, but it comes so luxe with this beautiful powder puff. And then you have the products you dip it in. Let's a whirl shall we I'm only gonna put it on one side of my face because I have one more powder to show you guys and I am excited about that one too but let's see if we can do this here how does this this feels like it's moving does this come out I mean it has to come out I would assume but oh it closes okay so that's what it's doing so it's open here and then you can close it so like when you're traveling it doesn't spill out which is awesome because uh, that is always a big fear of mine when traveling with loose powders which is why i try not to do it a whole lot but let's oop, i put too much um okay i just have some in the cap and again this is 3.1 tan golden let's just do a little touch up which i have not done today at all Um, this haul is a complete mess <laughs> hopefully you guys are enjoying it let me see oh we definitely have some makeup some makeup vids coming in our future oh my god Look how good and mad it got. Oh my God. That looks good. So I have the product over here. This face still looks a little cray cray, but that looks really good. So let me see. This is a 24 hour setting power. It's formula locks in your makeup and protects it from transfer, humidity, and water. Baby, we're gonna look so good this summer. Stop playing with me. Control shine for 24 hours and it blurs. Instantly and significantly mattifies your makeup and reduces shine over time. It's blurring ingredient helps smooth the appearance of pores, fine lines, and imperfections. It also says it has an undetectable finish. The ethereal formula is so thin that it instantly sinks with your skin for a natural finish. No cakey effect, no powdery finish, no photo flashback. Good for normal combination and oily skin. So, I mean, I'm seeing it. This side of my face looks really good after just putting a little bit of powder on it. This powder is going to absolutely last me forever. Um, but that's really nice. I like that. And I love Makeup Forever's face products. I think they do face very, very well. So kudos to them. All right, let's put this back. This is already messy. This is why I hate loose powders, but I couldn't help myself. All right, let's go on to the next powder. This is the Hourglass, the Vanish Airbrush Pressed Powder. So I had this in the loose a long time ago and um, it wasn't my favorite, but I wanted to try it in the press because this, look at this packaging. It's so beautiful, is it not? Like Hourglass is just so luxe. Hourglass is that girl, right? She's just so luxe and gorgeous and bougie. And up, you know, that's Hourglass. Hourglass just, just feels real bougie to me, okay? Makeup Forever feels a little more down to earth. Hourglass feels like I should have my pinky up sipping tea, okay? Okay, so let's try this on this side and see what this looks like. That right side of my face looks so good with the Makeup Forever. That looks so good. Okay, let's do this hourglass here. Let's just get some off. And they have a little powder puff as well. It's not as nice as the Makeup Forever one. I might switch it out, but it's a little tiny. It's cool. It's good for like touch-ups on the go. Oh, excuse me? That's like a filter. 
Excuse me. Yes, ma'am. That one blurred so much. Even more than the makeup for, oh my God. It blurred so much. What is going on? Whose face is that? Cause that is not my face. This is definitely that one you keep in your purse. Oh, look at it. Can you see the difference? You probably can't. It's probably not showing up on camera. But there is a pretty stark difference in the blurring effect here and the blurring effect here. Jesus. Oh my God. No, that that is a winner. I wonder how long it'll stay like that. That is a win. Can I see that? This side of my face, like it is a filter on my face right now. Jesus Christ. Okay, nope. She's a winner. She's definitely a keeper. Let me tell you, this says um, for touch-ups, use the puff applicator to pick up a small amount and apply evenly by pressing into the skin. Um, okay, that's cool, but what is it supposed to do? I'm gonna look it up on the app real quick. All right, so this hourglass powder is a talc-free, sheer pressed powder clinically shown to instantly reduce shine for an airbrushed finish that lasts all day. Light coverage, matte finish, pressed powder. All right, it's a weightless shine controlling powder that allows you to set, perfect, and touch up on the go. So this is really for touch ups. Infused with micro spherical powders like Hourglass's number one best selling Vanish Airbrush Concealer, the formula diffuses imperfections without settling into fine lines. It's supposed to reduce shine and yeah, so it's really good for reducing shine and being lightweight and blurring the skin and blurring the skin it does. Oh, we love her. We're already in love with her. Okay, that is my powder segment there. Let's move on. I have two more sections, I guess. One is cheeks and one is lips. So let's talk about the cheeks, all right? I didn't need another blush, another bronzer, another highlighter, another anything. But I mean, I don't know, one size gets me every time. So they came out with a new shade in their cheek clapper. Um, what is this actually called? The 3D blush trio. And I have one of these and really like them. But how pretty is this hot pink? So you get a, what is this? A, a cream blush, you get a powder blush, and then you get like a shimmery, highlighter which you can probably use for eyeshadow or whatever i thought that was so gorgeous so yeah i picked that up this is in the shade girly pop girly pop so i picked that up and i just i think it's so pretty and i already know it's about to oh i already knew it i already knew it i knew the pigmentation was going to be insane because you don't got to worry about one size. You don't have to worry about one size at, oh yeah that's how that's supposed to look you don't have to worry about one size at all the pigmentation is going to be there. So really excited to use those. I don't have on any blush today. I'm not gonna put this blush on because I'm gonna look insane with this hair and this blush. Oh, blends out nicely. Very nicely on the skin. We love, oh, we love when the products work and we don't gotta do no returns, baby. We love it. All right, speaking of blush, I also picked up the Soft Pinch blush. I picked up one shade. Um, this is the Rare Beauty new blush that she came out with. There's like five shades, I think, and they mirror the shades of the liquid blush. Y'all know I love the Rare Beauty liquid blush. And so this one's in the shade, what did I say? Love. I went to the store today and got this. I wasn't, these were not on my radar. And then I go to the store and I see it and I'm like, no, that should be on my radar. That absolutely has to be on my radar because that is so beautiful, is it not? I wanted every single shade, I kid you not. And I had to narrow it down because I was like, I don't need all of these blushes. But baby, look at that, a very light tap in there gets you that beauty right there. You see that stripe of color? A very light tap. Oh, I can use this right now because it goes in my hair. Let's do it. 
Let's do it. Let's go. Okay, let's do it. This is a tiny little mirror. I need a bigger mirror. It's okay. We good. I can't believe how blurred my skin looks from that powder, y'all. That powder was not playing. Oh. Oh. It's a little more metallic-y than I usually go for. Like, I see, I can see, like, yeah, it's definitely a little more, like, not, is it, met is metallic-y the word? You guys see that? Like, I don't really know what to call that. Maybe it says it on the box. It's, it's very luminous and metallic-y like, like it's not, I don't know really what to call it, but you guys probably know what I'm talking about. Like it has a, like that really smooth shine finish. That's pretty though. That's really pretty though. Yeah, I like that. That's cute. We like that. Okay. So these blushes, do I say anything about these blushes? And I'll say nothing about these blushes. Oh, an airy, silky powder blush that brings instant life to your cheeks with a fresh, radiant flush that lasts. I feel like that that lasts, that's the important part because I find that a lot of blushes, they wear off after a couple of hours and you don't got your cheek glow like you thought you was gonna have and I hate that. So I love a blush that will last on the face. That is always what I'm looking for. Let's go. Um, Sephora, Sephora Collection came out with new brand bronzers so I said you know I gotta try it obviously okay let's open it up this is the Sephora matte bronzer in the shade number 30 coconut retreat oh oh it has a little smell smells very beachy yeah that's what it looks like I feel like it's not coming off I don't know. I feel like it looks darker in person than it does on camera, but that's what it looks like. Let's give it a little swatchy swatch. Oh, oh, she's nice. Nice and look cool tone too. Hmm. Very subtle, almost like velvety a little bit. Almost has like a little velvety texture a little bit. I would have put it on, but I just, I don't know. I don't feel like doing bronzer, but yeah, we like that. Okay. Let's move into NARS. NARS reformulated their brushes. Now NARS blushes have been a staple probably in every makeup girlies collection for years, right? And I feel like it was a few years ago where I looked at a NARS blush and I was like, I don't even really love this formula. I feel like I just had it because all the girls had it and I thought I had to have it. So I got rid of, I think all but one of my NARS blushes over the years. And so this is supposed to be a new reformulated um, formula and this one is in orgasm rush they have so many different versions of orgasm you know what another truth that I came to realize is that orgasm was not for my skin tone like it just didn't look that good on my skin you know everybody had orgasm I know you guys know about orgasm and it just didn't look that good on my skin tone like period and <laughs> That was like a hard truth I had to come to realize. But this Orgasm Rush looks insanely beautiful. And so as long as the, the reformulation is what it's supposed to be, I feel like this is going to be that girl. And it already feels better. It does. The formula already, look at that, that's beautiful. The, oh my God. Oh my God, look at that. Look at her, right there. Yeah, the formula already feels much better. Just when you touch it, it's just a lot more velvety. Comes off very easy on the skin. I feel like, like me doing the, yeah. God, it's just blending in with the brush. It's just gonna be so gorgeous. I'm, I'm so excited to play in this makeup, okay? Last face product is the Fenty Beauty Demi Glow Light Diffusing Highlighter. This is brand new. I feel like all this stuff mostly is brand new. Okay, so these are, like I said, brand new. And these are supposed to be highlighters that are like skin toned color. Okay, so I think I got the right shade. I got this one in Rich Honey. Um, so that is kind of what the back of it looks like. Rich Honey is the color. And let's open it. Oh no! 
she's broken I was just at Sephora today I wish I would have known because I would have got another one that is sad it's very sad Oh, it's pretty though. Okay, I don't have on a highlighter either. Let's put it on. We'll use it and then we're gonna go back and get another one though. Mmm, I like the feel of this a lot better than the other highlighters that Fenty has. I was not a big fan anymore. I used to be, but I just felt like I was not a big fan anymore of their highlighters. Just, I didn't like the formula of them. I didn't like how they felt. I don't know. But this feels a lot better, feels velvety. I feel like I've used that word a lot, but it's true. It feels very velvety, very smooth, very soft. Like I don't have to do a lot to get product, to make it look good. I like this. I like this. I gave a lot of good dimension to my skin. So we're going to have to, we're going to put this right back in the box, baby. And we're going to have to make our way to Sephora to do an exchange. Okay. Last but not least, you know, I bought just a few lip products. So let's just look at those. The first one I got, I'm so excited about. It's one of the new Huda Beauty faux filler lip glosses. Now I know I said I won't buy no lip products this year, but y'all, but y'all, these lip glosses look so good, like so good. And I was so excited and I love me a lip gloss. I love a good lip gloss. This one is in the shade Bombshell. The one I wanted was the baby pink one, but they were sold out of it everywhere. It's been sold out online. It's sold out in all of the stores around here. So I went with Bombshell and I could get the baby pink one later, I guess. But I heard these are, oh, took a lot to come out there. You get um, definitely get enough on the doe foot, like initially when it comes out, like you really don't need to dip back into it, but this is what the doe foot looks like. Let's just test it a little bit. Now this is not being tested on clean lips, so this does not probably give the true color of it, because I do have on like a light lip product, but I like the formula. Very nice non-sticky formula. Even though I don't mind sticky. Some people mind sticky. I don't mind the sticky lip gloss because that means it's gonna last on my lips, but this feels very good, very soft. Doesn't like goop up on the lips. Okay. I could get with that. I can get with that. I'm gonna keep using and testing that out all right let's keep going i just have a couple more lip products i got two more of the sephora um cream lip stain i got one in pink tea this is like almost a grayish color so it looks like that and then i got this one in what is this one skin deep so all of these like kind of like skin toned shades there's the difference they're very similar all of these like skin toned shades but I love them um, and so they look really nice with like a deeper brown lip liner and so I've just got those two and then lastly I picked up one of the lawless forget the filler lip plumping line smoothing gloss and this one's in the shade Lavender Sorbet. And it just looks like this. So it's one of those like light pinky purple glosses. And I do like the Lawless Lip Plumping Glosses. I have a couple, like I got like a little mini set around, was it Christmas time? Or maybe it was this time last year. And I really do like them. There's nothing to see. This is just like, this is the color but you can't see it on the back of my hand, but this is the like color that's in the packaging. Oh, it smells good, but you can't really, can't see that on the back of my hand. 
but it's a really nice lip gloss and this one is a stickier lip gloss so again that's kind of my preference but i'll use both all right y'all so that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed this video and all the things that i picked up from the sephora vib savings event okay let me know some of the things that you got i would love to know what you picked up i'm hoping to get this video up before the sale is over so you guys can still shop some of my favorites if they're in stock and i think that's it hopefully you guys enjoyed this video i love you so so much and i will see you in the next one bye